Hello and blessings my beautiful souls. My name is Avalon Cameron and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a little something, okay? I had a big day yesterday and <laughs> I ended up at Big W, which is a place here in Australia. If you're not from Australia, it's kind of like a place that sells a bunch of different things, clothes and, you know, everything, it just sells everything. And I was wandering through there buying little, you know, sandals for my two little girls. And I stumbled through the book aisle and as I emerged from the book aisle, and I swear I wasn't there for even 30 seconds, I had an appointment and I was racing and I just ducked in really quickly to the bookstore and this is what happened. I didn't even stop to think. <laughs> it's so comical. Sometimes I find myself standing in front of tarot decks and oracle decks and all sorts of things here and contemplating, do I really need this? Is this something that I will benefit from? Will this serve my collection in some way? All of the questions that we card collectors ponder as we are making our new acquisitions. However, I was in a rush and I was distracted by my two little grubby girls. And it's a long story. I wasn't even meant to have them yesterday, but conflicting appointments meant that I had to take one to the optometrist and I picked them up from the park and they didn't have any shoes. So, so I had to quickly run in and get shoes. And I'm like, well, while I'm here, I'll just quickly browse the aisle. And I'm not joking. I walked down one and then the other, and then I just went bah, bah, bah. and my sister was like, Oh my God, that happened so quickly. And I'm like, I freaking know. Anyways, I am going to, this is, this is new Cheryl and Darcy right here. You know that I love her decks. I think I have most of them. And these two are Hay House decks. I typically don't buy Hay House, but I felt inspired and I just wanted to give them a red hot go because they were both there and they were, both looked good. And I was just like, you know what? If I'm going to start doing my beautiful tarot picker cards like I would like to, I need a little bit more of this style of deck as like positive affirmations, that kind of stuff. And so I thought maybe these two, maybe these two, I'm not sure if they will fit the, you know, the, the need that I have at present, but we can only see. Nevertheless, I don't have either in my collection or anything like it. So how about we do a very, very quick unboxing of all three of these decks, like super fast, get into it, let's get it done. What I'll do to make this super quick is I'll take the plastic wrap off all of them. <laughs> I'm so excited to look inside and I will go from there. So we will go through each and every one in a very quick, quick, concise manner, give you a little tasty taste, you know what I mean? Little first impressions, that kind of thing. And then you can just tell me which one you like and any other thoughts that you have on them. And if you think that they would be great um, in some way, shape or form as part of your practice, who knows, who knows? Just let me know what you think. That's, that's the basis of this, right? Let me know what you think. And don't forget, to hit that little subscriber button, tap that little notification bell, and let's get stuck into the video. Okay, so I've taken the plastic sleeve off them, like so, and they're all matte finish with like spot glossing. There you go, you can see that. I'm sure you can see this one here as well, see? And this one here, I don't know, it's got a good feel to it. I'm liking the aesthetic of this one. This one here from Cheryl and Darcy looks like it strays a little bit from her usual art style. Now I was talking to my coven yesterday about this and I showed them off explaining what had happened. And one of my beautiful coven members made the observation that this might be lino print art style, you know, similar to the Brady Tarot, that kind of thing. So I'm interested to see in no particular order. I'm just going to open one and then go from there. Okay. Okay. Look at how just untidy my space is right now. <laughs> I like a bit of mess. All right, so let's have a look. The language of flowers. Now, oh, that's pretty. Now, if you don't know who Cheryl and Darcy is, then I encourage you to seek out that information as much as possible and go from there. 
Oh, look at that beautiful purple. All right, all right, all right. So I'm seeing this through the camera. Oh, okay. Oh, this is not really my art style, unfortunately, but I do love Sherilyn's meanings and her understanding of plants. She is a bit of an ethnobotanist, if you will. She is an avid gardener, like an avid gardener, permaculture, green thumb, call it what you will. And she really specializes in the language of flowers, what flowers mean, their energetic meanings and things of that sort. So she's a real green witch in that way. And she writes for a, a lot of gardening magazines, believe it or not, and does gardening radio shows and things like that. So she really is into gardening. And as you can see, I'm just doing a quick flip through. I don't even know if I've come back to the start yet, but 23, no, probably not. Does it give you a little bit of a tasty taste? You know what I mean? I mean, they're pretty, they're unusual and they're pretty and they're striking and there's a lot of visual appeal to each of the cards, but they feel very busy to me. They feel very heavy and in an art style that I'm not particularly fond of. So I'm curious to see how this will end up reading in a reading or a card pool of some description. And so far we have 37 cards, 38, 39. <laughs> We have some trust here, some understanding, make sure this is in focus. And then I've got to be, re there we go. So it's 44, 44 cards. If there was more focus going on here, 44 cards there. All right, so that was pretty rushed. Oh, there's the backing. I didn't even take a moment to look at the backing. Um, I'm not sure guys, I'm not sure. It's just not my art style. It's just something about it that's not, it's just not like immediately me. But I always like to see how things do read. Here is the guidebook. So I dare say it has her usual structure, meanings, challenges, the actual information about the plant, botanical profile, gardening tips, and place. Oh, okay. So it's got the geographical location that it comes from. That's pretty interesting. All right. Well, if you guys are a bit of a green thumb, those of you out there, some of you will really, really like this deck, no doubt. But I'm going to have to see how it reads. Okay. We're going to go for the spirit junkie next. Okie dokie. Who is it? Who, who did this? Michaela Ezra. Artwork. Gabrielle Bernstein. I think this is a... Oh, yeah. This both by the same. Both by the same creators. Okay, I'm getting where this is going. This is a hay house. The other one, stop it, snow. My puppy's barking. Oh, this is cute as. Oh, points for aesthetic. Look at that. Don't mind if I do, folks. Don't mind if I do. And paper cuff. Paper cuff. See? That's a much more conscious choice. That's, oh, is it paper? It's kind of like a waxy paper. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's meant to be. Oh, it fell on the ground, nevertheless. All right. So here are the backings, I think. Let's have a look at what's partying on here. So that is telling you what it is. It doesn't come with a book. Go big, rise up, step into my power. Is this a card? I'm super confused. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on, autofocus. Okay, okay. So, like, my high vibe. Thoughts create health and okay, okay. I'm, I'm getting, oh, I have to fix my, um, what do you call it? My focus here. Sorry guys. Okay, hopefully this helps a little bit. Snowy is going ballistic outside. Something has struck him in a way. 
I don't know, I'm putting some of them down, I'm bringing some of them back. Who knows? Oh, this is really like cute and quirky and funky and this is my vibe. Like I like this type of artwork, I like this style of artwork. But it's going to take me some time to read it. My happiness is a direct reflection of how quickly I can shift my perceptions from fear to love. Okay, yeah, maybe. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that nice? I'm, I'm loving this artwork. It feels fresh. It feels funky. It feels fun. It feels uplifting. Yeah, I think this could be a good fit for me, but again, it all comes down to how things end up being read. I'm making a mess of this pile of cards. I won't even know when I come to, <laughs> to the first card because they're not numbered. They're more like affirmation cards, I feel, um, which could work really well in some instances as a warm hug at the end of a reading. You don't mind me a little affirmation. Something nice and comforting about reciting affirmations and things of that nature. They're very sticky. I need to fix my autofocus. <laughs> autofocus there good grief there we go now we're getting somewhere now we're cooking with fire speaking of cooking with fire i do have something in my barbecue cooking at the moment so i'm multitasking as we do look at that i'm a light worker in disguise okay i'm going i'm going i'm going i'm going have I come back to the start yet? This is a terrible flip through. You know, on my part, there's nothing wrong with the cards. So from the fact that they have no numbers, uh, which isn't technically a problem, unless I'm trying to find where I started. <laughs> oh, I think, I think I've seen this. Have I? I don't know, guys. Oh, these are cute. I'm loving this. They're very sticky, actually. They're, they're hard to, like, flick through. This is pretty. Oh, I love that. That's nice. I don't know. I'm starting to see some familiar cards. Maybe yes, maybe no. I'm not sure, not sure. Am I back to the start? Yes, I feel like I'm back to the start somewhere. Sorry if I showed you the same card twice. Um, got a little bit lost there for a moment. Okay, so the universe has your back. I think I have had a play with this one before at a friend's place. Oh my god. Can't even open a box. That's what it's come to. Okay, similar back to the spirit junkie. Okay. Do these have numbers? No, they they don't they don't look like they do. <laughs> All right. Oh, I like the vibe. So I can see that there is a continuation of artwork. Not that I know which of these decks came first. I'm not sure which one was first to be released, but I can see that there is, you know, same same author, same artist, so similar vibe. Oh, okay. There's kind of a lighter vibe to this one, I feel. Universal messages, I guess because it's the universe has your back. Like broad, broad statements. Surrender, hope, love, peace, these types of things. I suppose the Spirit Junkie one had some broad statements as well. I like the um, the style of artwork. It really appeals to me. There's a softness to it. It's slightly feminine, but it's not overtly feminine. 
It has a cool, funky kind of aesthetic. I like the use of watercolor. I'm a big fan of watercolor. Oh, I love that. Vibes. I love that watercolor. They're my colors right there. I like how it's a mix of illustrations and then like just watercolor presence and movement. Then you've got something like this, which is like a sacred geometric or a geometric at the very least pattern. This is sweet. This is the cover. Oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking the vibe that it's giving me. Like it feels good. Oh, look at that eye. That's very striking. Don't mind if I do. Oh, oh look at that. I just love that. Look at all those colors. I love all those colors. <laughs> Oh, beautiful little owl. Wow. It looks like a pelvis immediately. Sacral, maybe. Oh, I like those colors too. There is nothing sexier than authentic truth, perhaps. Joy is the ultimate creator. Am I back? Universe works fast. Oh, I think I am back at the start, am I? Am I gonna go through the whole thing? Yes, I'm back at the start. <laughs> there we go, that was The Universe Has My Back. Well, all right, my beauties. I hope that you enjoyed this rather rushed and fast and a little bit clumsy flip through. If there's any one of the decks, one, two, wait, I'll turn that around, and three, that you would like to see more of, more up close, or a deeper review, then do let me know and I will definitely create one for you. Otherwise, I'm going to plan to play with these during tarot picker cards because judging by the nature of at least two, these two right here, I think that these would make fantastic hug cards for the end of a reading or good affirmation cards, good vibes and add a different layer onto a reading full stop. So let me know what you think and which one was your favorite, which one appealed to you, which one looked really interesting, the art style that you like, just the overall vibe. I'd love to hear from you, let me know. In the meantime, I will check in with you guys in a couple more days. I hope that you're having an amazing day and you've had an amazing couple of days and I will check in with you again very, very soon. All right, my beautiful soul. So with all of that said and done, I'm wishing you so much love, luck, peace and joy. Look after yourself. Don't forget to drop those comments so that we can get chatting and I will chat to you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.